What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm here with a word from our good father. Yes, your father has sent me with a word, y'all. I don't know who needs this, but God says somebody needs this message. So I come through to bless the kingdom, okay? Listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button and where you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit relieves you to, don't leave without comment or sharing a video, okay? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach. Amen? All right, now, family, before we get into the Word, we're going to go ahead and pray in the Holy Spirit. Because y'all know we don't do nothing here without God, right? All right, pray with me, family. Father God, we come before you today, Lord Jesus, as humble as possible, Father, just thanking you for who you are. God, we thank you for keeping us yet another day, Father God. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, Father. And God, I thank you for your sons and daughters that has been led to this video, Father. I pray that they would have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. And Lord, let it be your voice that is heard, Father God. Speak through me. I pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to fill me up and this flesh will step aside, God. Speak to your children in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. All right, now, y'all, listen, before we get into the word, I just want to give a quick shout out, y'all. If y'all remember, I said I received some shirts from Unbreakable Me. This was one of them, y'all. This is like one of my favorites, right? The Daughter of a King. So if you haven't had a chance to check them out just yet, guys, don't forget to stop by. It's about to be summertime. And y'all know we like to get our gear up. We definitely want to be walking in fate, right? We want some fate based apparel. All right, guys. So listen. Before we get into the word, y'all already know, I don't know who it's for, but whoever this is meant for, I pray that it reaches you. I pray that it blesses you in Jesus' name. Still get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit. But whoever this word is for, it will be no question if this word is for you, baby. This is going to activate your spirit, okay? Listen, your father is saying right now, do not address it. Listen to me. Your father said, do not address it. Now, I don't know who this is for, but you're going to know if this is for you. Your father said, do not address the lies. Uh-huh. I know it was some lies told on you. <laughs> Listen to me. God said, baby, it's people that told some lies on you. But he is warning us today, guys, do not address the lies. And if God is warning us about this, guys, this means we're going to be presented with an opportunity to address those lies. And God's saying right now, do not address those lies. I'm telling you, y'all, listen, God said, baby, it is people that know the truth. Okay, it is it's people that know the truth, but they choose to believe the lie to satisfy the things that they have spoken over you. Listen to me, the things they spoke over you, over your children, over your business. Baby, they say you were going to fail. God say, baby, they're going to have to keep on lying to keep up with the, the lie they came up with, the, the what they said was going to happen to you. Okay, and some of them they don't just believe the lie. God say they spread the lies. Come on now, God say they ain't just believing it themselves. They even satisfied to make it real, baby. They spread the lies, so it could be like you know when you hear something from three people, baby, it got to be the truth. God say, but I don't care who you tell that lie to, baby. It don't make it no truth. Baby, it's some people, some of y'all, if folks out there and paid people to lie on you. Come on now, God say, but still don't address it. Come on now, we on kingdom behavior. God say, don't let them lies distract you. Come on now. God say, them lies cannot do you no damage. And I'm going to give y'all a little testimony of mine. I don't know what God is doing, but like the Holy Spirit been leaving me to give y'all a little testimony here and there. And I guess because he been told me to give y'all a big testimony. But every time I get ready to make a testimonial video, I like get real nervous and I don't know how to put it all together. So I guess it's how God is still getting his glory, right? He's still getting it out there. But y'all, let me tell y'all, when I picked up my cross, I know it was a lot of lies told on me. Trust me, it was so many lies, and it was no strangers that told these lies on me. 
okay when i tell you it was people that i love people that i trust and it, it wasn't even just that the lies they told they were unbelievable it was just like the people that believed it it was people i was like i thought you knew me like how could you even think i would say such a thing how could you think i would do such a thing like me and it was funny because I was waiting to run into certain people so I can explain and say, you know, give them the truth. But it never happened. Like, God never allowed me to, you know, see these people. But the people that I did see, some of the people that spread the lies, God allowed them to just be close enough to see what he's really doing in my life. That they going to have to see what God is doing. And they cannot deny it. They lies. Won't stop what God has plan for you okay so listen to this this is how god blessed me though it wasn't everybody who heard the lies that came and said something to me okay but it was about four or five people that knew the real me and that's what god is saying there's some people that know the real you baby you ain't got to explain nothing to them they know better because they know you better come on now listen to this it was people it was some one person she just came to me and she was like i heard this story and I just said to myself, this can't, y'all couldn't have did that. Y'all couldn't have said that. Like, I know she a little, you know, but it's just some things I know she wouldn't do. Okay? And it was two other people that came to me and said, so-and-so said this, and they said you lied about something. I know. I believe you. This is what they told me. I ain't going to say I know you're telling the truth. This is a God's honest truth. They said, I believe you okay about something that had happened okay it was like i believe you though the people may not and they may be spreading around what they want they say i believe you so i'm telling you baby the people and the people that came and told me these things it wasn't who i expected okay so god is saying right now you don't have to address the lies baby the people that really know you okay the the truth a lies, okay, let me tell you something about people. If you don't know the truth, it is very challenging to, for you to identify a lie. Okay, so we can't spend our time. It's a waste of time to try to get a person who don't know truth to identify a lie. That's even in faith. Okay, like some people, is, you know, it's people that's paid to spread lies. Okay, you got to know the truth. That's why you got to read this Bible for yourself. You got to know God for yourself. Okay, because it's people that's paid to spray lies. The only way to identify the truth from a lie is to know the truth. And God is saying right now, child, do not address it. Come on, I don't know who you are, but tell yourself, I know you was waiting to tell it. You was waiting to address that thing. But let me tell you something, God, when you give it to God, you give it to God. Okay, God said, baby, when you get this chance, when you get this opportunity to address the lies, move on to something else. Just be like, it is what it is. Come on now, I'm telling you right now, baby. God say, leave it. It is what it is. I don't know who you are, but if you feel that thing in the spirit, somebody just say, it is what it is. I wanted to get my side out there. I wanted to let them know, listen, that ain't even how I get down. But right now, baby, God say, it is what it is. Come on, somebody type that thing out. Encourage yourself. Encourage your brothers and sisters. Somebody say, it is what it is. I'm telling you, God say, baby, do not address the lies. I need you to stay on the mission because that is sent to distract you. The time that you take and you waste to address the lies, you could be doing something productive, baby. If the lies were told, and it's been, listen, by the time I got a chance to even address lies, baby, it had been two years, baby, it did me no damage. And it did you no damage. Come on now. It did you no damage. I'm telling you guys, say, baby, don't worry about it, okay? Listen, let me give y'all some scriptures and I'm going to let y'all go, okay? This is going to be um, from Matthew 28. Matthew 28, verses 11 through 15. Okay, this is the God's report. Come on now, listen to this. I just going to bless somebody. It says, this is when... um. Mary and Mary went up and they saw Jesus was gone, right, from the tomb. But there were guards, right? There were guards that saw it. Y'all go back and read it. And they went back to tell the chief priests everything that happened, right? They saw what happened. They saw the angels. They saw them tell them Jesus wasn't there. Okay, they didn't just hear. They saw. Okay, so God is saying it's people that knows the truth. And this is what they told them. They say, you are to say, his disciples came through the night and stole him away while he was asleep. 
if you re if the reports get to the governor we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. Come on, now listen to this. I'm telling you, it's some people that just want to believe the lies about you, baby. To satisfy what they have already said. And it's not just about you. It wasn't just about the disciples. If they were discounting the disciples' behavior, they were discounting Jesus. Amen? Because Jesus said he will rise again. Listen to this, baby. He said, so the soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has been widely calculated, I mean, sorry, circulated amongst the Jews to this very day. But if you go on, it did not stop Jesus. He went to reveal himself to his disciples, okay? He stayed on mission. And that's what I'm telling you today, baby. It's people that's paid to spread lies on you. It's people that choose to believe lies about you, baby. But God said today, do not address it. Okay, this is a warning. Warning comes before victory or destruction, right? So take this warning, okay? God is saying, do not address the lies. Choose today to move forward, okay? Stay on the mission, okay? Stay on the mission. You're moving forward, baby. We are mission-minded. God says, stay on the mission. The people that need to see you, people that need to know you, baby, he said they know the truth. The lies wouldn't even fly with them. Come on now, as soon as they hit a lie, they say, oh, that, that ain't the yacht I know. Uh-uh, that ain't, that, ain't that ain't the dude I know. That ain't the girl I know. Uh-uh, I know them too good to believe that about them. Okay? I know how they move in. It's certain things that they wouldn't do, baby. You ain't got to explain it. Those who know you, they know you. And if they don't know you, they ain't gonna never know you. <laughs> I'm just playing. But for real, because <laughs> that was a little wet, ratchet. But for real, y'all, God is saying right now, do not address the lies. Don't take your time to address what was said about you. It did no damage. God is saying move forward and stay on the mission, okay? I love y'all with the love of God. Go out and live a blessed life, family. You know the blessed life comes from first being a blessing.